Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about three simple steps, three simple shortcuts to answered prayer. Three shortcuts to answered prayer. And I'm giving away this book today again. We did it uh, Thursday, Friday, and now today. Uh, how to pray. If you already have one of these, get one for somebody else. Got a whole pile of these books going out. And uh, everybody's, they'll get them ready probably this morning. They'll get them ready this morning. The, the ones that come in today, they'll get ready uh, on Monday. But they got a whole pile of them to get ready this morning. How to Pray. This is the best book ever written on prayer. And it's not real big, but it tells you how to get your prayers answered. That's the big thing. I'm all about how to do something, how to get results. Everything I do is about results. I talk about healing. I talk about getting results. I talk about abundance. I talk about results. I, I'm a results-oriented person. And I want you to get your prayers answered. So we're going to do that. Amen. So text me if you did your uh, donations and offerings and tithe yesterday or Thursday or today, text me your name and address so I can get this book in the mail for you. Amen. Say this with me on this happy Saturday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything works out for me. Make sure you say that every day. Everything works out for me. Amen. Hey, I want to tell you a secret. We got a new book coming out. New book coming out. It went to the publisher last Wednesday. The publisher's got it. Took me all day to get it up there to the publisher and working with the publisher and the and everything just to get all the files and everything transferred. I had to convert the files and oh my goodness, what a deal that was. But we got it done. And the people, the public, we have a wonderful publisher and a wonderful group of people who published this book. And it's a big company. And uh, I don't know how big it is. I've never been there. But they're great, great people to work with. And so they're taking care of the book for me. And uh, it will be on Amazon probably in about six weeks. About six weeks. It'll be all ready. And we'll have copies of it. Amen. For people in our church and our uh, Wednesday evening group, we'll have copies of it for you probably in, in, in by six weeks. So we're excited about that. Amen. This, this is a book. It's an incredible book. Of course, they're all incredible. But today, this one's incredible. Say, I am a wonderful person. And Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. I love to hear the sound of your voice when you call. Amen. People say, oh, Pastor Jim, I don't mean to bother you. Believe me, folks, when you call, it is no bother. I love to talk to you. And I love to pray with you. And I love the praise reports. We have been getting back so many praise reports, huh? Glory to God. <laughs> Wednesday night, I told the story about how somebody had lost their keys. And so I said, you will find your keys. And... In short order, she found her keys. So I told that as a, we always do praise reports on Wednesday night. Well, somebody called me the next day. His wife had lost her purse, had lost her purse. And uh, at the mall, did you ever lose your purse at the mall? What are the chances of getting it back? I said, she will get it back and it will be intact within less than an hour. Not even that. She had her purse back 
and it was intact. Glory to God, somebody had turned it in. Isn't that wonderful? Intact. Everything was there. Her ID wasn't gone. Her money wasn't gone. Nothing was gone. And she was getting ready for a trip. I don't know if there was any money in it or not, but everything was there. Everything was there. Then her mother called me yesterday. She had lost a check. She had lost a check. Good sized check. Somebody had given her a check and she couldn't find it. She went, ah! She called. I said, you will find that check. In short order, it turned up. And it turned up where she had been looking. Mary said, the angels brought it back. Mary always says, the angels do it. Mary will send the angels to do something. She's got this special relationship with angels. And she'll send these angels to do things. And I don't know how it got there, but I'll tell you what, it was there. Glory to God. Now, just things like that might not seem like an actual miracle, but it was a big deal to them. Same family got those things. Amen. And I, I just laugh because it's just, it's so, it just makes me so full of joy when people get prayers answered. And uh, this, the last week, another person called me with a praise report. She said, a week and a half ago, you prayed for my husband who had cancer return to his chest. He had had cancer before and now it had returned to his chest and he had a lump or big thing on his lung or in his lung. And he went, they sent him to the oncologist. And when he got to the oncologist, it wasn't there. It was gone. And they ran tests on him and blood tests and all these kind of tests they do. No sign of cancer. He got healed. Now, this is what we do over the phone. Glory to God. We get it done. We get it done over the phone. I not only write the book, but I do it. Amen. You're not talking to somebody who just talks about it. You're talking to somebody who does it. We make it happen. We make things happen. We use the power of the Holy Spirit through the wonderful name of Jesus. If you want to know how I do it, that's how I do it. The power of the Holy Spirit, God's anointed power, and the wonderful name of Jesus not only finds checks and purses and keys, but heals cancer. Glory to God. Huh? We've had brain dead people healed over the phone. I mean, people dying in the ICU <clears throat> healed right over the phone. Three shortcuts to answer prayer is found on page 31 of this book. Page 31 of this book. The first thing is Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible. And then he said, therefore, I say to you, anything you want when you pray, believe that you receive. The shortcut is just simply, simply, the Bible says expect, believe that you receive. I say expect to get it. Expect to get it. If you expect to get it, you are believing you receive. That's expect. Believing, expecting, and faith, those three words are all the same. It seems to me to be easier to expect something than to try to work up your faith for it. Just expect to get it. That's why I get such incredible, incredible results because I expect to get incredible results. I expect it. When somebody calls me, I believe me, your problem becomes my responsibility and I expect to get the answer. I expect it. Amen. 
Number two, you have to remove the doubt. You have to believe you receive or expect to get it. And number two, you have to remove the doubt. Now, how in the world do you remove doubt? I'll tell you how you remove doubt, the same way Abraham did. How many of you know that everything that God wants us to do, there's examples in the Bible of how people did it. And the way Abraham did it was in Romans chapter four, he refused to consider his own body. He did not consider his own body a hundred years old and the body of his wife now 90 years old when God told them to have a child. For 24 years, they did not believe they were going to have a child because they thought they were too old. How many of you know when God's involved, age is not a factor? It's not a factor when God's involved, folks. And it was not a factor with Abraham and Sarah. They, they, so they got to the point where they did not consider their own body. They were considering their own bodies for 24 years. The minute they got to the point where the only thing they considered was God's word, she got pregnant. So what you have to do is absolutely refuse to consider anything other than what God's word says. God's word says, you are healed by the stripes of Jesus, and I refuse to consider anything else. God's word said he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, and I refuse to consider anything else. Don't talk to me about anything else. I don't want to hear anything else. I will hang up the phone or walk away from you. Because all I know is God said he will supply, and that's all I know, and that's all I want to hear. Because I refuse to believe anything else. I refuse to even hear it. Don't try to put that into the flaps on the side of my head. I refuse to hear it. All I know is what God's word said. That's how. That's why I have no doubt. People say, oh, Pastor Jim, you're such a great man of faith. Well, I just expect to get it, and I refuse to hear anything else. People say, you're so narrow-minded, Pastor Jim. Yes, and saved. Yes, I'm narrow-minded and saved. Glory to God. And I get prayers answered, and I get miracles, all because I'm narrow-minded, and I refuse to believe anything other than what God's word says. Number three, and I'm out of time. Find somebody. Find somebody that you know can get it done for you. Find somebody. When people went to Jesus, they knew he could get them healed. When, there's a whole huge group of people out there who know when they call me, they're going to get what they need. And they do every single time. Glory to God. Every time. If you don't think I can do it, call somebody else. Amen. Find somebody that you can believe. Get this book today. How to Pray. If you haven't uh, got your, uh, texted me your name and address, get, do that. If you do your offerings and donations Thursday, Friday, or today, I need to get this book into your hands. If you already have one, get one for somebody else. Pass it out. Make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations because I want to speak that word for word blessing over you and I refuse to believe anything other than the fact that you will be blessed. Amen. Glory to God. Share this video with everybody you know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life, and I refuse to believe anything else.